Hello, everybody. Welcome to Simulator Fan News with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I hope you are incredibly well today. So this week saw the release of Millennia. This is this is a new game that I've had my eyes on for quite some time by Paradox. Uh, it is a multiplayer game. Um, the gameplay is very much like a board game. It gives me civilizations and uh, settlers of Catan vibes. I've played it for an hour so far, no more. I have recorded it, so I will be releasing it later. Um, but I thought instead of releasing my video, I, I'm going to review it first, show you my thoughts. Um, as you can see, it's already got mixed reviews on Steam. So it's not hitting the mark quite yet. Now, I feel the reason for that is how complex the game is. And it doesn't really give you a very good guide. So when you see my first gameplay playthrough of this vid video, I'll, I will try and release it either today or tomorrow. Um, it's all very much like, what am I supposed to be doing here? Really, it is quite, um, it's quite confusing. Let's put it that way. Let's um, have a very quick look at the video. So for any of you that haven't seen this yet, let's have a look at the, um, there's a couple of videos. Your journey in millennia begins in a humble Stone Age settlement. From here, you guide your nation through the ages, charting its course through 10,000 years of history. Remember, you're in control. Will you lead a fearless band of warriors or a serene group of pacifists? Any path you choose comes with unique opportunities. But as your nation grows, so do the needs of your people. Get out there and scout the map. Uncover those crucial resources. Establish supply chains and capitalize on lucrative trade routes. And if things get heated, defend your people with force. For every turn, you'll be faced with decisions, completely altering the course of history. Will you reach a glorious age of victory or be forced to brace for the worst of outcomes? Millennia, define history, turn by turn, age by age. So I'm a big fan of um, Settlers of Catan. I love Catan. Um, I've played it for many hours with my family. Um, if you haven't played it before, I really recommend you buying it, the board game version, and just embrace the idea of collecting resources and building settlements. Now, this is taking that stance um my only complaint about it at the moment is the gameplay there's it doesn't really show you what to do um here's another history video it's pretty big and history can go in a lot of different directions it's all about this fight for history and who can control it the ability for us to kind of push boundaries outside of what actually happened in a way that hasn't been done in other 4 air games. What if we have alien visitors? How is that going to affect history? The ability to take it off the rails. What if steam power was viable for real technologies? Balloons and zeppelins and steampunk. What if we have to fight off this evil rogue AI? I think a history buff could get excited about the alternate takes on history. One of the main things that sets millennia off are the variant ages, which changes how the timeline goes every time you play. You could go into a crisis age, like the Age of Blood, and immediately see impact all across the map. We are showing so much at any given time in a much stronger way than other games tend to do. 
We also have our deep economic model with the goods. You can cut that tree down and make logs, but you could also take that tree and turn it into paper, which can be used to make books and religious texts. It always feels like there's something new going on in Millennia. It's been really rewarding to see players get into ages for the first time. When we hear somebody talking about their experience in the game. I got into the age of revolutions and all these rebels appeared out of nowhere. And that's exactly what we're trying to build. We bring in experience and knowledge of how to create great games. The only way that we know how to build games is to build games that we love to play. Each game will be unique. It makes replays a lot of fun. It's not infinitely replayable, but I did the math and it's a really high number. Players are defining the ages. They're shaping the course of history. That's what Millennia is. Uh oh, oh. History's pretty big. What was that? Now, I have just reached the Bronze Age uh, in my playthrough, and I didn't reach it first. So another nation did which is quite interesting because you're kind of always chasing the other nations to move through the times faster. The idea of this is can you take people from before even before the bronze age and build a civilization um including as they've put in there religion through to armies, through to technology. So it, it's a super, super interesting concept. I'm really intrigued to see where it's going to go. Was I blown away in my first playthrough? No. Do I think I'm going to enjoy it as I carry on? Yes. Um, it's got all the makings of a really, really good game. But... It comes with a price tag. Um, forty nine, uh, sorry, thirty nine, thirty four ninety nine, or the pl premium edition forty nine ninety nine. It's quite expensive. So I, I have, as you can see, I've already played for one point two hours. Um, I started recording one version. I was like, I just don't understand what's going on here, and I just stopped and I started again, reset myself. So I think it's it's the kind of game where you need to just just give it time. Um and if you do like board games, if you do like civilization, if you do like uh Catan, this could potentially be the one for you. But I will be releasing gameplay so you can check it out for yourself, see if you like it. Um and if you have downloaded this game, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Are your thoughts as mixed as Steam's? Remember, this is this is only 697 people's reviews. And there are not recommended and not recommended. It is so, as you can see, recommended, 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 recommended. And they're not. So I think it is all about... It's all about how much you're willing to put into the game and willing to learn. Um, what I think is always interesting to look at is people that have played it for longer recommend it, not so much. So <clears throat> as as far as the game is concerned, I think it's it's worth a look at. Watch my playthrough, see if you like it. Um, and then you can give it a go yourself. And I, I, this is a game which I think you can play through multiple times because you never start in the same spot. That board always changes. Even when I loaded the game up first, I picked United Kingdom and I was put in Edinburgh. When I loaded up second time, I was like, no, I'm just going to start again. Selected United Kingdom and it put me in Liverpool. So... You get plenty, plenty of new um, opportunities um, every time you play, which is the same as Catan, which is the same as Civilization, which is why these games have such longevity. Um, can Millennia have the, that type of longevity? We'll find out. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to uh, seeing your comments on my first video release of this game. Catch you soon. Bye for now.